Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 stability build just got released into Evo Cardi not too long ago. And as always, the Pipeline Discord channel delivers with the leaks. Just let y'all know, take everything in this video with a grain of salt. The format of this video will be a little bit informal as these are files uh, and descriptions found in XML files within the game files of the 3.23 build. So let's go on. The very first one here is regarding freight elevators found. Um, XML files are found in the game files. Um, one here says is regarding, I guess, the SEU sizes that I guess you can operate with one SEU containers, uh, four SEU and eight SEU containers that you can operate with, as well as an auto range function here uh, to automatically arrange the containers um, uh, for your freight elevators. So that's interesting. You can have it automatically configure uh, the items that you want to bring forth out into your ship okay so um it also has an option here where you can clear also it seems like you'll have a function where you can um kind of like i guess kind of like tetris maybe 3d tetris where you can um fill in the freight elevator based on the amount of capacity it has and you also have an option to reset which is going to be a clear all button um it says deliver to warehouse which is of course um once you've built it out and you have all the items that you want to have in the freight elevator you have a button to deliver to warehouse which will be i think is going to be um an, an air, the area where you'll is essentially where your in inventory is where right? once uh, you put your items into the um, freight elevator you deposit it into the warehouse that's where it stays and when you need to physicalize it and pull it out and put it into your ship you take it from the warehouse so that's what i'm getting from this empty all containers um is also another option here filled with containers um is another option interesting um freight platform um is also something here it says hangar service so that's probably the name of the t that's probably the, the name you're going to see on the terminal um once you operate with the freight elevator i guess or hangar services could be another terminal a separate terminal that allows you to um configure your, your actual hanger um which is going to be something that's gonna be big hanger uh, to be able to customize the hanger it's gonna be a big thing so item stats so you get to see details cargo um about your items um it says uh pending cargo sell order interesting sell orders pending cargo sell orders so you can place sell orders as well oh my goodness this is going to be huge sell orders so you guys guys you can buy you can you can do mining right let's say you can mine for gold and you can refine it and you can put a sell order to whatever price you want it you're not you're no longer restricted to what the um tdds at the different stage at the different uh cities um buy at but you can sell it at the price that you want it to other players that is really good that is so good man we've been waiting for this for a long time hopefully this is going to be a part of uh the thief 23 build but it could also be in a later patch but this is what they're finding in the files up next it says platform platform inventory um select all center platform so what is platform so there's there is a warehouse and there is platform. And so is the platform considered the hangar? And then it says sent to warehouse, um, unselect all, request platform. Interesting. What is platform? So that there's also going to be panning. So you get to, you get to have a, a 3D view of maybe the hangar or the freight elevator and then a reset view and then warehouse. Okay. So man can't wait man can't wait so these seems to be ui elements that you would be operating with so up next is resource network and this is going to be engineering and resource network just to let y'all know is going to be in the arena commander aspect of 3.23 so um it's also always interested to finally see this in the game so there's going to be coolant fuel gas gravity heat power quantum fuel shield ammo 
and weapon regeneration so these are going to be the different elements we're going to be operating with maybe this is all of them maybe this maybe there might be more but this is what they found does far in the game files are interesting so the next ones here says uh, resource and network arena commander modes here it says free flight um engineering it says engineering free flight so you'll get to have engine engineering in free flight mode where you can just hop in with people and um and also test out their, the engineering aspects um, with their ship. So it says everything you love about free flight, but with resource network enabled ships instead. That's interesting. And the next one is going to be squadron battle with engineering. So this one says two team battles it out with one team in their own resource network enabled A2 Hercules and the other is a resource network enabled Gladius. Interesting. Are you going to work with Isa's networking on your Gladius? Is that going to be like a little terminal you're going to work on your Gladius? Uh, mid combat or something? I wonder how that's going to work. Um, and then next is going to be engineering duel, which is going to be two teams battle it out with each other of their own resource network enabled a2 hercules interesting these are going to be the big modes that are going to be filled with people once this comes out into um at least wave one for sure everybody's gonna be hopping in there man there's gonna be so much to do with 323 it's it's crazy all right so now they have some um event flares um some coins um i don't um so, what I say? so first contact 54 coin foundation festival 54 coin um magnus iv water bottle and uh, quantum water bottle so these are different flare items that we may see in the game sooner or later next is the is the new character customizer so now they have die gradients accept advance all hair um what is this are you sure you wish to save this character so these are going to be the different ui elements that you're going to be seeing as you operate with it um it says blend blend amount copy from darkness are you sure you want to delete details uh die amount die color die variation eyebrow um eyes uh facial hair that's going to be a big one facial hair all right um it says here do you wish to finalize your character uh, freckle amount freckle quant uh freckle op opacity hair um hair dye uh, character customizer load save uh lock skin tone makeup makeup um metalness uh makeup opacity cheeks eyes lips uh makeup smoothness um no save available this will overwrite the previous character of the same name. Also, you get to save different characters in this. That's interesting. Um, please save your character. Um, it says profile name. So you're gonna have profile name. And, so are you? Are we gonna be able to operate with different characters? That's gonna be cool to be able to have different characters you can have in the game. You can swap between. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, okay, okay all right imagine so are we going to be able to merge our alt accounts if you have alt accounts right that would be cool to be able to just quickly swap between your alt account and your regular account i would love to have that feature next it says please save your character profile name um, random randomize all redness redo reset please note that you will not be able to make any additional changes once you accept root color sculpt um, click and drag sculpt nodes select body type uh, sunspots amount sunspots opacity texture tip color undo and um, interesting 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 okay 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 all right so a big one that they also have coming out which is a big surprise now it makes sense why the price of the hornet um, the regular Hornet right now went up is because there's going to be a Hornet F7C and a Mach 2 coming out. Uh, seems like they found in the 3.23 build. Whether this is going to be uh, in-game flyable or if it's going to be in uh, hollow table, I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. It says um, the Anvil Aerospace Medium Fighter 
ushering in a new age of space superiority. The Anvil Aerospace has re-engineered the Accelerator Hornet for the next generation for fighter combat or fighter combat. Um, purpose built for the UEE, the F7A um, Hornet Mark II maintains the spirit of the original while incorporating even more powerful offensive capabilities. So it's going to be even more powerful. Interesting. All right, that is interesting. And then the F7C now is going to be a medium fighter straight from the front lines to your personal hangar. The redesigned F7C Hornet Mark II takes the latest battlefield upgrades and makes the and makes them available to private pilots um, across the Empire. The fighter features an improved power system utilized by the overhaul weapon and missile package that is interesting that's going to be something that a lot of people are going to be really excited about you guys let me know if you guys are excited about the hornet all right up next is also a big surprise for me is going to be fauna they're finding fauna in the game files um one of them is going to be named the kazar grazer so they're anticipating that this is going to be a the space cow that we probably seen in the um in in uh citizen con and then the next one is the copion a fast carnivorous animal damn that's gonna be scary bro <laughs> and then it says dogs over here as well as web hounds which is unknown they don't have any details on that as well man we're gonna be seeing fauna on the planet that's gonna be big that's gonna be big dogs so that means could we own pets could that be a thing we'll have to see all right, so now there seems to be a new ship that's coming. It's going to be Intrepid, and they don't know what the manufacturer is for this one, and that's super exciting. All right, I can't wait to see that. So up next is, is regarding the map keybinds, okay? So there's tab, there's X, there's cancel route, there's decrease floor, there's increase floor, location, ping, set marker is going to be the big one setting a marker and saving it is going to be a big one right here set route uh, mark data bank marker data bank guys so that means we get to save marker location details in our ships guys that's going to be super cool and we'll be able to and of course the next thing we'll be able to do is eventually be able to share with others and, and maybe upload and download it from ship to ship that's going to be really cool to be able to finally do that that's going to be interesting all right up next it says date um it says enter a marker name and it says set marker details guys if you guys hear my kids in the background please ignore that all right um locations ping obstructed recent and set marker okay so those are what they found thus far regarding the map ui all right so up next is says um flight mode says engineering fleet flight i think that's something we already read about um grab royale engineering for squadron dual as well and um yeah we actually went through all this already so that's just repeated i'm not gonna go through that again so up next um if i can zoom in can i zoom into this up next it says here um cargo missions potentially quantum quantanium raw and it says a uh, covalex cargo um so it's possible we may be getting cargo missions in i think they they said that that we will we will begin cargo missions with the uh, distribution centers so that's cool to see the next one here says this is regarding mini maps and um so they have um it's like a hierarchy right so it says flagships area 18 lorville um orison ship setup um hammerhead reclaimer redeemer retaliator so these are the maps i guess these are the different ships that will actually have their maps available in the game so we're looking at the uh the carrick um valkyrie um the mold raft uh, Starlifters, Drake, uh, Caterpillar and Vulcher, um, Prowler, um, Hall A, C, Prospector, uh, Freelancer, 400i, 600i, 800, 800, Jump, 890 Jump, I mean, 
uh, for RSI Constellation Phoenix Pol Polaris, bro. They, yo, they have the Polaris mapped out already in the game files and the Zeus. This is how I know 323 is gonna have this ship. Oh my goodness, we might. Okay, let me correct myself. We might have it maybe in a Hollow View or something like that, but they're already propping it up to be in the game soon. So I anticipate we might be seeing the RSI Polaris and Zeus very soon, sooner than we think. I'm guessing maybe in in May, maybe we might see it during Invictus. We might see those ships, but they have the maps um, in here. So as well as stations uh they have food courts um habitation services and shops uh and also rest stop locations as well for maps that's going to be really big 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 news right here all right next here it says ship setup i'm not sure what this means um but hammerhead it says lower deck main deck upper deck this may be all related to maps as well character deck one two three and four um so those are very various floors of uh, the character right there. So this is probably all associated with the maps as well um, Up next is distribution center missions and uh, there's going to be illegal illegal local um, Illegal local microtech illegal local microtech Stanton or um, So I guess it depends on the range of where they're gonna allow you to move um, cargo to and from and um, there's also um, different levels here it's easy hard medium uh for missions as well um there's an interesting location where it says san stanton um sakura san it could be a new one of the the uh locations here uh distribution center new locations that are coming in um they have some Kovalex locations uh crusader location cry astro locations interesting i'd, I'd love to see that um gray cat locations um some herson locations yeah so this they have quite a few uh, quite a few um locations where you can go to and these are different missions right they have delivery infiltration related um and defend type missions and also investigation based missions that you'll be getting from these distribution centers to and from these distribution centers and it's looking really interesting um at the end here, they also have some carryables that we'll probably find in the game. I'm not too sure what this is. I think one of them is going to be a fidget spinner. And another one, I'm not too sure what it is. Um, it says name Sasu or something like that. But I don't know what that means. But you guys can let me know. Um, I know this has been a long video, but it's a lot of leaks. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.